Tomorrowland is directed by Brad Bird and stars George Clooney and Britt Robertson, and I'm going to tell you the plot of this movie without really telling you the plot of this movie. Because the trailers don't really tell you anything, they kind of give you an idea of what the film is about, and the whole film is a mystery box in that way. And a mystery box is where you have this item, this thing in a movie, and you don't know what it is. And the entire film you're trying to figure out what it is. It's a mystery box filled with surprises, hopefully. That's... And that... <sighs> <laughs> that really fizzled out. I was trying to make that cool. That didn't work. <laughs> Basically, Tomorrowland is a place in which certain people are invited to go. And our main hero, played by Britt Robertson, starts to get these visions whenever she touches this pin of this area. George Clooney is a person who knows how to get there, and she has to find him to figure out what this place is and why they need their help. Now, I was so excited to see this movie because I am a humongous fan of Brad Bird. He is one of my favorite directors. Not only was his animation fantastic with Iron Giant, Ratatouille, The Incredibles, but his premiere into live action with Ghost Protocol was fantastic. And so I was so excited to see that same type of seamless direction, those thrills that he was able to achieve with that movie. And with this movie, he absolutely proves that he is a master behind the camera when it comes to directing with action, with science fiction, with suspense, with building great set pieces and awesome action scenes. He really understands what he's doing behind the camera. This is a beautifully directed movie, and it's by far the best aspect of Tomorrowland. The performances are also off the chart. Britt Robertson finally in this movie shows me what she can do, because in The Longest Ride, she was fine, but she was burdened with a terrible screenplay. With this film, she really is able to explore the depths of her character. And not only is the action really well done, but there's lots of humor in this movie, and she she did a great job with that as well. And George Clooney was also very good in this movie, and I like the fact that he subverted some of his playboy tendencies he has when he chooses characters, like his Danny Ocean type character. Because in this movie, you actually do get the sense that he's an older guy. He was a grumpy, cranky guy, and once you learn things about his character, you understand why he feels that way. And his character also had a lot of great hidden things about him that really made you care for him and really made you curious about what was going on behind that mind of his. And he also had excellent chemistry with Britt Robertson. I thought they worked very well off one another. Another really good performance in this movie and possibly a star-making performance is this little girl in the movie. Her name is Raffi Cassidy. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I won't tell you much about her character because I don't want to spoil anything, but she was really great in this movie. A performance way beyond her years. But what I really did like about Tomorrowland is that it is a very, original movie. For years, in fact decades, I constantly see critics, myself included, complaining that there's no originality left in Hollywood. That movies are just the same over and over again. Rehash plots. We have here a movie that is not a sequel, it's not part of a franchise, and it's not a reboot. Tomorrowland is a wholly original and unique movie, and it has an extremely creative vision. And I have to give that praise, and I think some critics are missing that, because after this screening, I heard tons and tons of complaints, and no one was just saying the truth. This is a very different and original movie. It's its own thing. It's a script thought up by a few different people, and that is to be praised. This is not a superhero movie. This is not a sequel. It's not a spin-off from a television series or something. Tomorrowland is a creative and unique film. That being said, the third act really derailed for me. And again, no spoilers, but it was very disappointing to me to see the way the main villain was revealed, how that all came into play, and of course the overall message and thing that had to be done to avoid something tragic was just so cliched and very preachy and it did not work for me at all. It felt like a complete U-turn from the type of film we were experiencing before. I appreciate the message that is being promoted, it just didn't work in this movie for the movie they were making. It felt 100% like a complete turnaround from everything that had already happened and it really made the rest of the movie not as good, unfortunately. But the journey in Tomorrowland was so much fun, filled with a lot of awe and wonder, great weapon design, and amazing scene construction, really great humor, an original plot, and good performances, and Brad Bird remains a fantastic visual filmmaker. I definitely recommend checking out Tomorrowland, but those last 20 minutes really did not work for me, and they may not work for you, but you may be fine with it. Check it out and see it for yourself. I'm gonna give Tomorrowland a B plus.
Also, I really hope you check out my review I just did for Collateral. It's one of my favorite movies, and I went all out with the costume. My wife helped me recreate the look of Vincent. It was a lot of fun. It's on my channel right now. I hope you guys check that out. Also, I want to give a big thank you to my buddy Josh McCuga, who runs the Casual Mafia YouTube channel and does his Between the Sheets show, because he was the person who made the call to get me into this screening. I got to see it with my buddy Christian Harloff of Schmoes No, so I want to thank both of them, because I was in LA at the time, and without those two guys, I wouldn't have been able to see the screening. Screening, and I got to meet Brad Bird and shake his hand and tell him how much I like Mission Impossible 4. So that was cool. Thank you guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you do see the movie, let me know what you think of it below. Thank you once again. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>